Hello there. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install and run Stable Diffusion on your computer. This video is not a tutorial on how to actually create art or understand the different settings. This video is only focused on the installation itself. If you want to learn how to use Stable Diffusion in detail and create amazing art, check out my complete beginner's tutorial video in the description. There I explain everything you need to know to get started and even more. The first thing we're going to do is go to this GitHub repository. You can find all the links in the description. Let's scroll down. Here they explain all the steps required, but we're going to do this together. We're going to start with the thing that takes the most time, which is downloading the model. It's about 4 GB, so it can take a while to download for some people. We can find a model on the Hugging Face website. You don't need to sign in to download it. Just go to Files and Versions and download this one. Now we're going to download the latest version of Python and install it. Next we're going to download Git. We need it to clone the project and to keep it updated. Now back in the repository we're going to copy this URL. We are going to open the command line and we're going to paste this URL. You can simply right click and it will paste the URL. Then press enter. I already did that so I don't want to have another copy of the project but after it's done you're going to find the folder with the project on your PC in this location. Now when the model is finished downloading we're going to cut it and place it in this folder. Now we need to edit the web UI user file, so right click on it and open it with a notepad. Over here we need to add the Python installation path, so search for Python, right click on the app, open file location, right click on the shortcut, properties and copy the target path, paste it over here and save the file. Now in order to always stay updated, we add git pull over here and save again. So each time we open this file, it will automatically update the project. Now double click on the web UI user file and let the code run. It can take a while and even if it looks like it's stuck, don't worry, just wait and follow the instructions. If anything goes wrong, let me know in the comments. When you see a URL like this, it means that we are ready to launch the web UI. Open your browser and enter this URL. If you want to learn how to use this interface and all of its settings, just watch my beginner's tutorial and you're going to get all the tools you need to start creating art.